attuning to the overall energy being this is spiritual Focus on, you know, the energy of the past. Maybe you've been through some things and yeah. things happen for your life. And you do that by mastering your craft. Yeah. Expansion. And we have the four of her. There is, and let me just explain. You also have the three of water. I have the ten of water. I have the one of our solid on the rock. Then you have, right after that, and because synergetic results are near and here. And through these together, it's basically saying you feeling, someone is feeling What's up, guys? This is the Twin Flame reading for October 10th, 2019. Happy 10, 10, 10. We've been channeling 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 um, for a while now so today i expect a miracle i expect blessings i definitely expect forward movement in some way um there is a reason why we have been challenging challenging channeling 1010 it's completion it's endings and new beginnings it's forward movement and progression entering a new phase of life blessings miracles elevation completion um, of something tangible completing a life phase we can expect something to happen today. So before I, you know, I'm going to do a twin flame meeting, but I just wanted to put that out there today at 10, 10, 10, which is also three. So three is synergetic results. So expect something major. I expect something major today. I don't know what, but I definitely expect something for movement and progression and something major and synergetic with me and spirit. Um, and you may expect that as well. So before I begin this reading, Swim Flame Journey is about the dualities of yourself, internally becoming one with yourself and God, and being a vessel of God on earth and knowing what that means and, and on your path of, purpose, of a purposeful life, happiness, fulfillment, and spiritual completion. And it's also about your partner as well. If you are on this journey with a spiritual partner that you may not know of or that you know of, expect to come together with this person who is your mate, your partner, your twin, your mirror, your mirror itself. Um, yeah, so this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, visit my website, ashleygillard.com. But you may also resonate with a general reading. You know, there are some messages that I convey here. It could be different for whatever person is watching it. And you may need to hear something in these general readings. So don't knock a general reading. Know that tarot is a three-way street with me, you, and spirit working together to deliver a message and to receive a message and to understand the message that's being delivered. Okay, so without further ado... Let's get it. Today's message. Um, so excited for 10, 10, 10. I pre-shuffle my cards. So, and then I shuffle it until cards. FYI. So this is my gym body sweater. Thinking about, you know, not allowing any orders until I stock up. Inventory. I usually allow pre-orders as well, but I don't like my customers having to wait. A couple weeks for their order I like to be able to ship it out immediately so I do have some teas left though but as far as sweaters I think I'm about to put the paws on them so if you want one hurry up and order before I put the paws on it today 27 receiving listen wasn't I just talking about that expecting a miracle that's also nine diving for light 11 mm. Interesting. That's that's eleven as well. That's eleven. Um, but I want. I'm going to read a little bit of it from the Oracle book. But basically, what I'm channeling is yes, being elevated or receiving something that elevates you into light that elevates you into it might even be spotlight. It could be recognition of some sort. But it's elevation and and putting you in a light so that you can drive light or bring light out of others so let's just read a little bit of it but also today um is 
Yum Kipper, we're, we're, you know, detoxing for Yum Kipper, but also, which is also putting us in a position to receive light as well and understanding. Um, but today is also in Kabbalah there warning us to be careful how we give. Sometimes there is an imbalancing of what we give and what we receive. Um, today the message was like something sort of ensure that you're giving in a balanced way as well. Overly giving to someone is not good. Just like overly receiving without giving isn't good. It's also uh, a balance in the way that you should approach giving. You could also impede upon someone's blessings by giving them too much. You can impede upon their progress, enab enabling them by doing too much for them as well. So be careful how you give today. Don't let yourself be taken advantage of, but also don't let, um, don't allow yourself to be used as a tool of, of some sort of impediment of progress for someone else. Receiving, you are so loved. Your every need is witnessed and responded to by the universe. So our desires, let's manifest our desires today on 1010, putting out there what it is that we need from the universe, putting ourselves in a position to receive, allowing, having faith and knowing that it's coming in. Mm. Energy has been going out of you, but there is not enough coming back in. And it's time to bring something back in for you. To receive and be received, you are being offered a, t a chance for restoration now. To feel nourished, cared for, and loved. Accept it. You deserve it. I love that. I think it's it's the universe giving to us, though. You know, I was just talking about an imbalance of giving. Like, in the spiritual journey, in the spiritual process, you give, give, give. But you have to receive, too. And this is the divine working on our behalf bringing in light uh, giving us energy and vitality in some way whatever you receive is for you it's to restore you to bring you back to wholeness and restoration so that you can continue to give but from a more balanced place yes from that place of nourishment you will be more effortlessly creative live and love with greater energy and thriving pulsing passion yes it brings then it just is basically what it just said putting you back in a position to give in a more balanced state with more vitality energy and life you will return and be more efficient and effective yes forget your worries do something else let all go and it will flow i love that i just love that it's really time you know it's really time for those of us who have been continuously giving to finally receive. You know? It's time to even the playing field. 11. 11. I might do my braids over this weekend. Ooh. Mmm. Okay, so this is telling us of a time that you were caught into darkness, life circumstances, situations, relationship channels, inner struggles um, that defy clear understanding. You may feel like this journey was taken by choice, but your innermost being has evoked this situation into your life with the intention that you grow in power, wisdom, and creative juice. So, okay, these go hand in hand. There may or may not be an obvious cause. The darkness might be generally accepted and socially acknowledged because there is a socially acceptable obvious reason for it. It could be death, divorce, retrenchment, whatever it is. However, there may be no obvious justification for your experience of darkness. You may not need a reason. Likewise, you may, be, you may struggle to find an unconditional acceptance of your experience. But this oracle brings guidance that although you are powerful, you are vulnerable. You, ooh. Okay, I don't need to read anymore. This is about giving, 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 or going through a period of darkness, exuding energy, exerting energy, and being depleted. When you give, 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 you deplete yourself. And this is about receiving. Because you went through this period of darkness, because you gave, 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 you, you experienced death in your, in your life, you experienced these losses, you experienced it, you experienced giving of compassion, giving of, you just give, give, give. 
and you haven't received, you get to a place of depletion. So now, with 10, 10, 10, this cycle is ending. And now we're going to receive an immense level because we've been giving an immense level in this period of darkness. So not only are you experiencing challenges and endings and things of that sort, you're also giving during this period of darkness. So it's like being a light worker in the dark. You're giving, 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 but also going through challenges and, and trials and tribulations and tests while you're doing it. And it depletes you. It puts you in a vulnerable position. It could be financially vulnerable, could be spiritually vulnerable, mentally, emotionally vulnerable. And spirit is saying you're being restored. So this is about restoration. Now entering a period that it's more balanced. You're give, you're given on immense level because you've been giving on immense level. Now that you're restored and Wow, I'm looking. I'm gonna have to look up twos and sevens. Uh, oh man, 27th is. I'm on the page where I was writing a book on page 27, and I'm looking at here, and this is the 27th card as well. Interesting. Um, but spirit is restoring us, and the number 27 can be um, union. It's number nine. It's divine blessings and spirit and gifts. So you could be receiving through your gifts as well. Um, seven is the number of spiritual completion and two is the number of union. So you receiving, um, could be also the twin flame partnership or becoming one with the dualities of yourself by following your gifts, by using your gifts and, um, you have been using your gifts and becoming one with the dualities of yourself and being blessed because of that. This, this blessing can be spiritual. What we receive today may not be, um, it could be insight and clarity. It could be increased wisdom. It can be the ability to see things clearly, even more clearly, you know? So just be on the lookout for what spiritual blessings are coming your way because it's definitely coming. And I expect it today. All right, so let's pull some tarot. I might pull some Uno cards today and see what message I get as well. But we're going to pull tarot for the masculine overall and then if I need to look into it for masculine insight and feminine insight you guys know I use these to do that oh yes happy young kipper though Ooh. yes this is how perfect is it how perfect is it that the nine of cups came out this is the stars aligning. This is blessing. This is also nine. So, so far we have nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine is perseverance. And because you persevered, you're being blessed. Because you went through the storm, you're blessed. Because you went through darkness, you're blessed. This is now your time to receive. You're now receiving. Masculine and feminine, whoever's watching this, it's now your time to receive. Because you have faith. Because you put the work in when... There was no apparent results for what you were doing. There was no apparent it's going to work. But intuitively, you felt it would work. Intuitively, you followed your intuition and the guidance within. You created. You did whatever it is. You followed. You used your gifts because you knew that it was what you were supposed to do and it would be blessed. Even when you didn't receive the results, you kept the faith. Or you tried to keep the faith and you were resilient and you persevered. And that's it. So then we have the lovers. Yes. This is 6-9. Notice this is 6-9 as well. 6-9 is the number of the masculine and the feminine coming together. But this is also about the dualities of yourself. And you have 6-9, but you have the lover specifically. You became one with the dualities of yourself. And today is the beginning of that journey. It's not, okay, it's the beginning of the next phase of that journey. The first part of it is understanding that there is dualities of yourself. Understanding. Seeking the God within you, seeking purpose and, and attuning to your gifts. The second phase of receiving, and now you have confirmation. This is I did what I did was right. I'm confirming what I did was right, and I'm receiving and I'm entering that next phase, which is blessings, which is oneness with the dualities of yourself, and it may even come into the partnership union of the partnership coming together as well so you're entering this new phase together as two new people people who have experienced a journey a spiritual journey bringing them to wholeness within themselves you're no longer two broken people running from each other or two broken people entering and re-entering and leaving each other's lives it's like coming back you're a whole person you're masculine as a whole person feminine and masculine being a whole person and coming becoming one two whole people one with themselves and god it's like next level of a partnership. I love it. 
I guess I can pull some masculine and feminine energy. I'm going to start with masculine and see what I get with this partnership. But this is amazing. Something's trying to come. Should I take it, guys? I guess I'll take it. Ooh. Glad I took it. Ten of Cups. If you um, watch my readings, you know the big G, <laughs> the big Joker is like God, divine guys, ancestral guidance. But God, little Joker is karmics or you know like demonic energy. <sighs> Listen, you are entering fulfillment, emotional fulfillment on the next level on on guy size levels but also coming together as a family coming together as a union this is what it means for the masculine this blessing for the masculine is the the duality of you the masculine and the feminine coming together and entering a new phase of life together yes 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 leaving behind things that no longer serve ready to come together as one what is this that one is union <laughs> Oh, no, that's four of swords, which is um meditation. Come on, feminine. We we need you to be happy about this, too. You know? <laughs> Going full circle also could mean this you know, switches on, switching of energies. You know, masculine is happy about this partnership. Feminine is like, hmm. But entering, oh, child, they just fell out like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, Knight of Wands for the feminine guy. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords here. Uh, Queen of Swords was just showing itself on the bottom of my other deck. But, all right, so let's talk about the feminine as it pertains to this new phase and coming together and having faith and being restored. We're still in the energy of. The Knight of Wands. So we have the Knight of Wands coming into the feminine's life. Passionate, which could be the masculine's energy. Returning to the feminine in a passionate way. Why? Because we know the energy they're in. They're ready to complete their family and come together with the feminine. Because they're entering this new phase. They're whole. They know what they want and they're going after it. And it's very passionate for the feminine. The feminine feels this passion the masculine is coming with. But... At the same time, there's an influx of opportunities. They all want a stable foundation with seven, you know, they all want to come together. Um, but it's like competitive. It's 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 like competition. And it requires the feminine to leave something behind. So it's like standing your ground for the things that you want and desire out of life, for the things that you are passionate about. So you stood your ground and you're getting it as it pertains to your personal life and fulfillment personally. And for the masculine, it's like, um, it's more than personal. It's, it's togetherness. And for the feminine, it's like, Standing my ground to receive the things that I am entitled to because I've been giving and I'm, I'm ready to receive. But if I receive on an influx level, I have to leave some things behind. But I want to stand my ground for the things that I created for myself. I'm not just going to freely and be willing to just lose everything for the mask to come together with the masculine. Okay, let's keep reading. Two of Wands. Let me turn this down. Two of Wands. Chariot. This is forward movement on your plants. Make sure ain't nothing else. Forward movement. Ready to move forward on your strategy. So, uh, before I pull the masculine and feminine cards, I'm feeling like the feminine is ready to move forward on plans that the feminine made alone. It's like, okay, finally, I've been giving, giving, giving. I'm finally receiving. Uh, I ain't thinking about the masculine right now. I am thinking about the masculine duality of myself and I am pursuing that. I am pursuing my goals 
implementing my strategies. But masculine is for movement. How can we do this together? But let's pull the cards and see what they say. What is the masculine's energy with this chariot and this? Guys, what do you notice here? 20 freaking seven. Another 27. 11, 27, and 27 is also a part of the creation hologram. So we're definitely completing cycles. And I just want to quickly refresh my memory on this 27 and see what else comes up. That's crazy. 27, three times. Three times. We have to pay attention to things like that. That's the synchronicities like that brings us a message. Mm. And it's about light. And this is about light. Diving for the light. Holographic generation set 27. Okay, so it is about light. And I'll just read what this says on the Bible Will website with geometrical messages. It's related to the children of Israel, but it also says the Holy Spirit who enlightens us with the light of God. 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. Excuse me. <coughs> wow. Um, so look up 27 Gematria if you want to know what I came up with. I always go to the Bible Will website or typically go to the Bible Will website because you have to be careful with these articles and blogs on the internet. I resonate with the one on Bible Will. So um, check it out because it's definitely some information here you can and learn more about the holographic generating set but it is basically about light and being enlightened with the light of god and speaking the truth of it or or telling others and bringing forth light and, and using that light to help others so yeah like we're ready to enter this cycle we're ready to it's time for light to move forward like People think this twin flame journey is like about relationship. It's it's more than that. Twin flame journey is about the dualities of yourself, your internal light, and also shining light upon others. It's not just about you chasing a man or a man chasing a woman and finally coming together with somebody you love. No, it's way more spiritual to become one with your spiritual partner. With the first of all, it's spiritual to become one with the dualities of yourself. And to do that with a spiritual partner, divine. It's definitely time for us to move forward with our messages of light. Or our whatever it is that we do to bring light to others. It's time to move forward on that. Let's keep pulling. Wow. The masculine can recognize that the feminine is a beacon of light for him as well. Or her. Certainly, certainly, next level. Queen of Cups. Oops, sorry. So we have the Hermit, another nine. Four of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Now, two of Cups being on the bottom of the deck. Oh. What is this? You know what? We kept receiving 27, which is about enlightenment and shedding light. So this is sh the hermit. This is divine guys, ancestors, God, the light. Being enlightened to a partnership that brings us emotional fulfillment. So becoming one with the light, receiving light and, and enlightenment as it pertains to this is the person that fulfills me. This is who I love. This is who I'm supposed to be with. This is my mirrored self. An external version of me, a male version of me, a female version of me. This is my other half. 
being enlightened to these emotional feelings that the masculine and feminine have towards one another. And I want to pull some energies on this, masculine and feminine. But being enlightened to this connection and moving forward on it. Yes, yes, the light shed it on this connection. The light shedding on this showing masculine and feminine what it's you know about or being enlightened to some feelings you don't even know you had maybe this is what's happening to the masculine and which is why masculine is coming forth so passionately it's like i'm woke and finally awakened enlightened and you're the one no longer being in the energy of disillusion because the seven of heart resonates with the seven of cups No longer being disillusioned to, to this partnership. But with the Six of Pentacles, it's like, now you're balanced. This illusionment comes from not being balanced. It's an imbalance of thoughts, imbalance of emotions. Something is wrong. Something is off balance. So you don't see things clearly. But with the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, it's like, you know, the Seven of Hearts and Six of Diamonds, it's like, I'm realizing... Who I want now. And that's also number 13 and 4. I know that I'm ready for a particular person. The feminine. I'm out of the energy of disillusionment. Why? Because I'm balanced. I'm balanced. You have the four of wands here. Both of these parts of me are balanced. So now I see things clearly. And I'm ready. I have hormonal acne and it's bothering me. Okay, so what about the feminine? That's okay. See, one thing about your mirror itself is falling out. One thing about your mirror itself is another nine. And the number nine has come out of this reading at least five times. Well, I see it on my computer, I saw it here. And then it came out here. And then this is another nine. Then the hermit came. That's another nine. Nine, nine, nine. All of these nines. Nine is a blessed number. Nine is the number of overcoming obstacles. Nine of wands in particular is getting past that hump. Um, I have to take both of these because I don't know. I'm going to take the six of wands here. And I'm going to take this five of cups here. Another knight. Knight of Swords now at the bottom of the deck. Yep, which is also energy of finishing the job strong, getting to the end. But with the Five of Cups, again, or the Five of Hearts and the Six of um, Clubs, which is also success energy, who to come coming together, leaving things behind, um, leaving things behind and coming, th coming together with things that balance you or forward movement moves you forward and brings you success as the feminine so if we're talking about being clear about things being clear about what it is you need to work on or who it is you need to work on this could be both this could be the feminine being enlightened to letting go of opportunities that no longer serve her or him and moving forward on things that do because the six of wands is success so it's like, now I know what to do. Now I know what to leave behind and what I need to work on. I just want to pull a few Uno cards to see what we get about um, for this connection, for this energy, this 10, 10, 10 energy. That's way too many. I am sorry. Seven. Seven is spiritual completion. Grounded. Ooh, this one on show two. A one. Another nine. One to show itself. Right here. <sighs> Leadership with that one. Initiative. But with this green reverse or this green, it's starting over again. 
with endings, with 10, 10, 10, with endings, there's no beginnings. It's, it's starting over again. But with the green, it's more abundantly. Sorry. Seven, again, spiritual completion. <laughs> spiritual completion. Um, but with the, um, I'm still getting um, disillusionment. So whatever it is that was once clouding your vision, you couldn't see it, is now brought to light. Should I pick these? I'm going to pick them up. I may not read all of these. This is a lot. Lots of sevens in here. What energy am I getting from this spirit? Hmm. Transitioning. Yep. Transitioning. Leaving something behind. So the disillusionment is not knowing what to leave behind. But Again, we're in the energy of light. We're bringing in light. We're receiving light. So we can expect to receive light and information and insight and clarity into what needs to be left behind. And I don't think this is masculine. I think it's feminine. And it don't even have to be about the partnership. It could be about something else in your life that you need to leave behind. But receiving that insight and clarity is into whatever it is that has to go. Hmm. Stability. Because it's time to be secure and stable. This new phase has to be more secure and stable because we cannot continue the energy of give, give, give and compromising our stability. Our stability emotionally, our stability spiritually, our stability financially. This, this clarity is going to bring stability. It's whatever it is, it's going to help you be stable. Hmm. 11. But notice we have the red four, masculine energy, union energy, and we have um, the seven, spiritual completion, yellow energy, and we also have the, the zero, which is infinite, God, everything. Next level, taking us to the next level, spiritual completion, spiritual enlightenment. This is just spiritual enlightenment, bringing a solid, a solid foundation in our lives. And this could be masculine energy receiving spiritual enlightenment. But we already know masculine is getting spiritual enlightenment as it pertains to this partnership. And the feminine is getting spiritual enlightenment as it pertains to whatever needs to be left behind in order to come one with this partnership and be more stable and secure in life. The return of emotions. Somebody's emotions is returning. It could be masculine and feminine. But somewhere in the process, emotions return. <laughs> could be today. The 10th. But, ooh, I'm getting money vibes on this. New phase of life. I'm getting 10 of Pentacles vibes here. So it's like something returns. Emotions return, but also simultaneously entering in a new phase of life. A more stable a more stable and abundant phase of life. Hmm. Hmm. My cup runneth over. But not my cup runneth over theoretically. Actually runneth over actually being blessed infinitely it's like receiving tangible blessings as well we're being spiritually blessed but also tangibly blessed as well so don't if these are you know upside down don't worry about it but if you look at that that's 10 too could be today something amazing can happen today mm. Something amazing could happen today. We have another 11. Hmm. 
What I'm getting from here though is a, a previous situation that someone said no to, you're clear about that now. It's like getting spiritual clarity as it pertains to something that once was rejected. Maybe this can be this can be masculine energy. We know that the masculine is gonna have this aha and come forth toward the feminine. But it's like something that was previously rejected or you were re previously rejected in something getting insight and clarity into that situation that brings it back we got we still got reverse energy in it. it brings it all back because someone gets clarity about someone or something that was previously rejected and they take initiative putting foot to effort take initiative to bring it back i'm gonna leave it at there because i read so many different energies here um i don't want to take it confusing but we should expect something. The energy of 10, 10, 10, like we have been channeling it and it's still Libra season. We know that something is happening during Libra season. Being, you know, the, don't block any blessings by being anxious. But know that it's happening, but knowing it will happen when it's supposed to happen and it could possibly happen today. But if it happens, good. If it doesn't, good. We know that it's coming when it's supposed to come. So be an energy, energetic flow of the universe of peace energetic flow of peace, of universal peace, and divine timing, knowing that it's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. Anyway, guys, the happy 10, 10, 10. Um, happy Yom Kippur. You know, we're being renewed, we're being refreshed, we're being restored. We're being enlightened to things that we shouldn't have done or what we should be doing. We're being enlightened and we're being moved forward on this path of spiritual completion and success and union with our partners, but first union with ourselves. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, commenting, whatever it is you comment on my other videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Every view counts, every like counts, every share count, every comment counts, every minute counts. And I wish you all love, I wish you all light, and I wish you more life. Peace. GymBodyTMC.com Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit ashleygillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love, I wish you light, and I wish you more life. Peace.